the corporate ladder as an environmental lawyer when she decided to pack it all in and head to clown school <laughs> and the world of theatre instead. Now she is in the midst of her own very first solo show and she's here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Phoebe. Yes, welcome. Yeah. Good to have you here, Phoebe. <laughs> okay, let's take us back. I know. You, d you decided to yeah. go to law school. Yeah. Why? Oh, great question. <laughs> um, I, I liked school. I'm like quite an academic person. I got to the seventh form and I was kind of like, probably should do something. I remember one time I was like to my parents, maybe I won't go to university. And they were like, oh, probably you should. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to law school. It was, it's quite a full on thing doing a law degree. Yeah. I, yeah like I props to everyone who does it. It's a big old thing. But I got out of it and ended up um, with this lovely job in a really lovely environmental and Māori legal rights um, firm. And I actually really enjoyed it. I was kind of like, well, this is something I could see myself doing. Like, I had a cool life thing going on. And then was like, maybe I could stay here until I was 65. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I don't, maybe try something else. So Right, so that was why you got else. out of practicing law. Yeah, right. yeah. So I just had a moment. I actually just wanted to take a break. So I took a four-month sabbatical yeah. to go to clown school. <laughs> like we all do. <laughs> yeah. As you do. As you do. Uh, and then it turned into a uh, complete change. So yeah. tell us about that. So you, why clown school? Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, I, it sounds very unusual, but it's actually it's a theatre school based on um, a French kind of theatre practitioner called Jacques Lecoq, who um, it's physical theatre. Pretty, it's kind of in the league of the stuff that the Naked Samoans do. Uh, pretty amazing to be in the same hallowed ground as them. <laughs> um, really beautiful kind of physical um, basis for where the theatre comes from. Yeah. So. Uh, lots of my teachers that I had growing up, so I always did drama classes growing up, it was just, what I, I was a noisy kid, so, you know, send her <laughs> off to do something with that. Um, and lots of my teachers had been trained in that same style, and so there's the school, the John Bolton Theatre School in Melbourne, and I was like, I think that's the kind of thing I'd like to try out. Well, uh, how did your parents react to that? <laughs> <laughs> they were actually surprisingly supportive. I was a little bit nervous about the whole thing. I was kind of like, you know, obviously I've got a career here and it's not so stable um but they were like cool look you've done some pretty hard yards so go and have fun and yeah. then when i decided to make the full shift they were like you have to do what you want to do right now and they've got a great story to tell their friends well exactly yeah. it's been doing the dinner party circuit so yeah <laughs> <laughs> please so tell us about your show yeah so it's called a brisk wind whistling down twin oak drive it's a short title it's just, just <laughs> yeah. a wee one i was like i'll keep it snappy uh, so people can remember it yes. which they absolutely do not <laughs> um, it's on at the basement theater in town just in the in a, a little studio space and it's definitely not a clown show um but it's a kind of magical storytelling experience. It's just me, Dr. Solo, um, about kind of like the world and then what is in the world if you take some time to look for it. Oh, sounds deep. Yeah, yeah, there's some fun in it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you got out of law to do performing or was the clown turning or the clown doctor part of, you know, a, a sort of a broader view of what you wanted it to do? It kind of came later. Right. So I've always done a bit of acting. That was what I enjoyed, which is why I went to clown school. And then I came out of it and kind of was like, oh, I don't have a job anymore. I need to find some work. Um, started kind of exploring ways to find work that weren't just a full-time nine-to-five job. Um, and some people told me about Clown Doctors. Um, so I'm based in Melbourne at the moment, but there's a Clown Doctor program in New Zealand as and well. The, and the Clown Doctors, yeah. you have to be a clown turn first, yes. don't you? So, so, which is what I am at the moment. So I'm brand new. Right. I'm a clown turn, not a clown doctor. And, for, and so there's a long training process because it's quite an intensive, rigorous job. And they, and they want to make sure that everyone's taken care of, all the patients and the families and the people in the hospital and, and the performers. Um, so I've got a year-long clown turnship. Wow. <laughs> and so why, what do you love about it? I mean, you're um, working with really sick kids, I'm guessing. Yeah, you know? yeah. So what, what are you loving? Um, from the small experience that I've had so far, yeah. um, it's been exceptional. You can find the person inside anyone, wow. even if they're, you know, no matter how sick they are or how hard, how hard a time they're having, because it's their families as well. There's a spark 
inside someone and if you just spend a bit of time you can find it. Oh, um, oh so yeah. you're thinking of Robin Williams, that movie Robin yeah. Williams, you know, <laughs> yeah. I guess yeah. there's yeah. a little bit yeah. of that. Okay, and yeah. one other thing, Cirque du Soleil. You've yeah. auditioned to be on the database for Cirque du Soleil, yes. so what does that mean? <laughs> and does that mean you're going to go and try something else? Well, possibly, yeah. So they have this process, You, they have auditions all around the world, they're constantly searching for people. I went along to this general audition, you have a number and you line up and, and you're all in a group and it's kind of like an American dance film and they cut you during the day. Oh. <laughs> but I got through to the database. So I'm on their database as a clown, and so if one day they are looking for a oh. curly-headed, you know, my clown, height, doctor. clown yes. doctor, lawyer person, That's then right. I might get a call. <laughs> well, you come back when you're on that show, right? And tell yeah. us about that as well. Thank you so much, baby. Thanks for having me. Good luck with the clown yeah. turning, yes. clown turnship. <laughs> Phoebe Solo show, a brisk wind whistling down Twin Oak Drive. That short show. Well, you remembered it well. Yeah. Yeah. Plays in Auckland until Saturday night. Check out the Basement Theatre website for ticket details.